of Lehigh, Utah, coming in all the way from Utah, and they're towing the line here, and they're off. And we're Logan off and running Hockey now with the Hayward the Magic Girls Mile. Goes to East Valley Wearing hip one so from Boise High School is Allie Bruce. Uh, she was a runner-up at the Idaho State Sydney Championships. Collier. Wearing hip two they, uh, from Post Falls High School, Samantha here. Wood. They're getting out hard. Wearing hip three I, uh, from Skyline High School, in Sammamish, um, Sydney Collier. Right hip four from Lake Oswego High School in Oregon, Anna Peters. Right hip five from Lehigh, Utah, Caroline Moon. And wearing hip six is Logan Hofstie of East Valley High School right here in Spokane. Yeah, Anna is a freshman uh, out of Lake Oswego, and her sister Kate is a junior. So she's following in some pretty fast footsteps there as Kate... Yeah. Uh, is the was the East Bay champion, regional champion, Western regional champion this year. There's a lot of uh, qualifications on that yeah. on that title there. <laughs> but she moves to the there front right now in the Bowerman Track Club singlet. Yep. That's Anna Peters there. Mm -hmm. And she was looking to just mix it up with uh, the crew here. That's Samantha Wood, number two, right behind her. And then Allie Bruce, number one, right there on the yeah, Inside on the rails, Bruce Anna flat. Peters, Lake Oswego but High School Anna in Oregon. Taking it. Taking it out early. Yeah, and you know, I think it's really important for these athletes, um, especially, you know, to be able to come to a place that's regional, that's drivable. We know of some athletes who've driven, you know, eight hours to get here, but the fact that they could drive is a really big thing. And um, they're about 80 seconds, a minute 20, 80 seconds through the first quarter. Often to come to a competition where we have athletes from Idaho, Oregon, Utah, Washington, um, all towing the line together. It's really such an important development. Running on the outside, it's, it's wearing hip one, one is Allie Bruce. What you're made of. Staying out of trouble, running yeah, wide in, in lane two. Also, just to her inside, to Samantha Wood of Post Falls. Peters. Still Anna Peters so in the lead, Bruce. And everybody's still in it right now. And then That's Wood. That everyone in this field has, has Sydney Collier. If you look at the times of these women, I mean, we've got... Still tightly bunched here. ...through about 5.17. So, you know, this pace is going to be slow for them, which is whenever you see athletes bunched up, that's generally the case when they're, you know, starting to be two lanes, like into lane two, um, which just tells us that, you know, as we hit that second half, somewhere around probably 600 to go. In the home stretch, running three abreast, Peters, drop. Wood, <laughs> and Bruce, and in the half mile mark, 240. 240, yeah, 240 through like, half mile. Be a lot more decisive in the moves that you make because, the bank, especially with the bank, you know, it um, it can make it tough to... Now that's Bruce to the lead. You're running uphill if you're trying to pass someone on a turn. Um, little battle happening on the move, outside. Really, you're trying to take away... it. Sydney Collier, the she's got the teal hands. shorts, white top. And that's Allie Bruce now at the front. And they've gone... Collier up on the shoulder five, of Bruce. 18, so they're still on right, right around 520 pace. Halfway. But it looks like they're winding it up, and this could be a... A scream and finish here. Yeah, if we look at Allie Bruce, her PRs for 50. Three laps to go. Um, so, yeah, we should see some some sizzle, I would say, in the, in the next few uh, laps. As the, the kids say, laps. some yeah. sizzle. Yeah. With three laps to go here. <laughs> we have, yep, we have Allie Bruce out front, and then Sydney Collier. Right Still Bruce in the lead. There, number three. Then Collier. Then so Wood. The Wood. And Anna Peters on the rail. There, and then Anna Peters. And then Carolyn Moon, and then Logan Hofstie holding on. East Valley Pride, the pride of Spokane. <laughs> They'll reach Hofstie the three quarter mile local. mark. Three quarter mile when they hit the start finish no line here. Two laps to go. Really big About 3.58. Earlier tonight. <laughs> Inside a quarter mile to go now. So Bruce Collier and Peters here. now having Allie worked Bruce her way up right She's on the shoulder here. of Collier. Collier. Peters making the move on the and inside. Peters the inside there. Now she looks like she's trying Bruce to Bruce giving up some space the there on the inside for Peters. Oh. That's a move. That's a vet that's, move right there. That's a good one when you can get Wood that. making a move on the outside of Bruce now. Once in a while, the door right, a few lane changes and place changes into the home stretch doors. for the penultimate time. Anna Peters taking a now. Samantha the Wood. Ball. She's got 200 Allie Bruce, left. one lap to go. 434 on the clock. Yep. That was a 36-9. And a big move by Bruce back to the lead. Allie Bruce back to the front. Okay. And, Samantha and now Wood Samantha Wood. Bruce. Less than 100, 100 meters to, to the finish Samantha line. Wood moving to the front. 
And she's got a big final kick by Samantha Wood from Post Falls High run. School. 5 0 oh, 6 74 Wood. and a big hard close Takes by Caroline finish. Moon split. to yeah, take second place line. overall. So as well. That was um, a 30 So Samantha Wood, your champion, 5 0 oh, 6 70. And Caroline Moon, 5 0 oh, 9 15. So they may not always get tons of competition and so to start learning how to race in a tactical situation where there's a lot of bodies around you and then indoors.